So this should be fun. We've got the uh, Galaxy S3 and we've put Jelly Bean on it, which is uh, kind of premature, not everything works on it. And we have iPhone 4S with the latest iOS, so it doesn't have uh, latest released iOS. So the new iOS with the new maps and everything has not been released yet, so it's just on the latest one. So why don't we just kick this off by starting the devices at the same time to see how they do booting up. I clicked them at the same time. Okay, so let's see how they go. So Jelly Bean is supposed to have a better uh, animations and all that stuff. So, uh, and you know, I am a fan of the Galaxy S3. Uh, looks like it booted up a little faster over here. Uh, the iPhone 4S still booting up. And uh, let me uh, put the password in, no looking. So here we go. So the boot time was a little bit faster, uh, but that's uh, not a big deal really. How often do you actually boot your phone? So now let's look at the animations on these. So uh, if we see this is, with Jelly Bean, it's uh, considerably faster on the animations. I mean, not like it was slow on the Galaxy S3, but you can just tell it feels much smoother and faster. So. Look how snappy that is. So that's uh, one of the main improvements of Jelly Bean along with a bunch of other things. But this video we're just looking at the animations and uh, here's that iPhone. It's pretty bright so let me, uh, let me see if I can lower the brightness of that screen real quick because that is killing. Alright, uh, relax there a little bit. Alright. Okay, now they both look a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these both kind of scrolling at the same time and see which ones that I'm going to do kind of a, a slow-mo in my vid video editor to see which one is actually doing better. So, now uh, let's take a look at how it would actually scroll uh, maybe word so I'm going to pause this for a second and then I'll bring it back up and we'll, <clears throat> we'll take a look at scrolling text which was a little bit blurry on the Android previously so uh, I'll be right back with you okay so really the only thing I could find to scroll um, on the Jelly Bean Galaxy S3 is the settings because it can't connect to the internet right now because uh, this is kind of a premature Jelly Bean ROM that I've installed on the Galaxy S3. So actually it scrolls much better than it used to. You can see it kind of just it follows the finger really well and there's no blurring on the text uh, which it wasn't super annoying but you could just notice it whereas with the iPhone also is uh, it's much more realistic feeling as far as the touch. So uh, let's go crazy on there and then I'll put it in slow-mo. Let's do both at the same time. Okay. So
So uh, I'm going to put this in a slow-mo and put the video up on YouTube. So uh, just kind of comparing devices. Let's see how fast they go to home, which one goes to home fastest. Ready? Uh, about the same. Let's do that again. I kind of like that one. Settings, settings. Let's uh, go to settings at the same time. And then boom. Trying to do it at the exact same time. Looks like the iPhone's winning. So, um, gonna edit this video. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.